We are now officially going away from the starter island and my comfort zone. But the Harpy's got him. <laughs> All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Survival Fountain of Youth. I've been in game for 19 days. Uh, that means I'm hot. <laughs> we uh, we was going over there. There's a little stone thing up there in the mountain. We went up there. It's like an astrology thing. Oh god, we've left actually quite a lot of useful stuff on here. So we grab all that. Okay, let's go through what we did. We had to build this carpentry workbench to make planks and stuff. We had to build a tanner workbench, which made well, I had to kill a boar, get his hide, and then we had to tan it on the workbench. And then after it, we done that, we had to bring it out here and we had to stretch it across there to dry for 18 hours. Twice, because we needed two bits to make the sale for this absolutely wonderful machine. So we have a bed on the boat and we have a, a box as well. Slash, maybe I'll sit on that. I'm not sure. I might stand up. I don't know. Uh... But yeah, we can move stuff across. So I'm just going to go decide what we need. I think that's broken. We've actually built a box here. So this is a home, ma uh, home base. I think we can use the docks to uh, fast travel to on the map. But because if we look at the map, look at this now. Unknown region. We are here. We are only on the start island. We've got one, two, three, four here. Oh, these are works in progress. Oh, thank God. So, I don't have to put that. Yeah. So, we, we can actually explore them as the updates come out. Six. So, I can actually get to the end of where the story is now. And then, um, yeah, because I'm just being able to access them. But I'm absolutely loving it right now. It's uh, it's a really good survival. We can sort of do it as of when. So, wooden hammer, obsidian saw, um, coconut thing. All right. Those were what I took off the boat when I escaped at the start. Stones. This should be a fire starter. Um, usually leave that near the fire. Yeah, we've got the bow spindle fire starter look. So, instead of using your hands to rub it, use the bow. Gives you a better percentage of trying to start the fire. So, we are... This is quite an epic container. This is 2 out of 100 there, weight-wise. So, axe, knives, you know, lamp oil. We'll take that to fill up. That. We're going to fill up my stats before we go. So we'll get a cook on the fire. That's rope. Yep, yeah, nine arrows. Sick. Right, let's drop the heavy stuff. Sticks over there. We'll use that to start the fire in a minute. Got a little snooze and a little feast. And we are good to go on the boat adventure, boys and girls. Which is awesome. So let me just go get three more long sticks. I've uh, pretty much ran all the resources dry in this area, man. Oh my god, 17 days. 28 days. Yeah, they're gone. Let's go check these ones. We might have to go a bit further out. Always need long sticks. Okay, we've got two. We've got seven there. That's more than enough. Um, can I make another... Oh, can I just fix this? Oh, yes, yeah, just with a stone. Boop. So when I land at the new island, the best idea is to build a dock. So take all my, my stuff with me. Uh, right, we should be able to do... Right, we need a line of rope. Some of them away, didn't I? Bring my first starter over as well. Okay, so let's have a look. Boat, we need rope. All right, I need narrow leaf. It's there. Now I can make one rope. See how long it takes to do things on here, man. A craft rope. And then craft bow. One hour and 17 minutes work. Hell yeah, boys. Right, in order to get that, I need to craft myself. Oh, okay. It was the belt, so we need two rope. One wide, one narrow. Right, tall belt, please. Thank you. Right, that is equipped. Now we have an extra slot, so we can put the bow in there. Let's go, baby. Look at this, man. What in the world? Okay. I like. No, that's right. Oh, we are looking good now. Oh, I need a fat snooze, man. It says eight hours. Let's do eight. Okay. Stats are pretty good. I think the sun might be going down soon. I ain't got much daylight left. 
Um, is there anything I can do till the next day? Let's just make sure we've got all the supplies. We want. Yes, baby, second try, okay. Right, we can cook. How many of that we got? Two of them, two meats. Hell yes. Drink and eat, right. That's a good, we do need a bandage or something to get our health full, but that is the best we're going to get. I feel like getting a uh, coconut flask or something, but just before we go on our boat adventure. Um, a little bit more water, is there any coconuts up in that tree? Boom. Right, it's upgraded. We should have a bigger box now. Right, oh, a new blueprint. We get out of that. Ah, we've got a canoe, improved canoe. Now we can do a solid canoe. 8,000 units from 7,250. Oh, wow. Oh, this thing really moves. We are actually going to sea now. Holy moly, man. Right, so we need to go find that plume of smoke. Oh, the durability just ticks down. So you can only go so far. Holy moly, I wonder if there's sharks and stuff down here, man. And what looks sick. I'm just staying at the shore because I am scared to death right now. This durability is ticking, but... We upgraded it before we went, so we can get a new repair thing. Right, so that is the rock where the plume of smoke was that we saw from the uh, astrology up in the mountains. We are now officially going away from the starter island and my comfort zone. Alright, this is leading on to the next part of the story and the next clue. There might be a survivor over here. Level one sailing, let's go. Alright. Come up to the lonely rock. I don't see the smoke up there anymore. Uh is there a dock here? Is the question. This is eight damage from a hit. It's getting a bit rough out here, boys. What is this? Look at this thing, man. There's a bridge, uh, well, a fallen over tree that you can use as a bridge. I guess we just... Thought I'd sling it around here somewhere. Please. Please. Don't float away. Honestly. Just don't float away. I feel like I need an anchor or something. <laughs> okay. We're on a desert island now. We're officially Tom Hanks. Well said. Let's see if we can... Uh... Holy moly. Make our way up here and see what is going on. Alright, there's like a trail of wooden boxes. Look at this. <gasps> Ouch. Do you reckon that is a... Shipwreck survivor boat, maybe. Ah, looky down here. Didn't expect to find a cave on here. Okay, an old barrel. A lot of put on shoulders. Do you reckon we're going to have to build something to climb? Yellow leaves. Part of scrap. There's a note and a book. A canon of medicine. Put in a medicine, sorry. That's um ten hours to read. We'll save that for now. Okay, Santa Maria uh, Cannoneer's note. My name is Blasco Ribeiro. Ribeiro? Ribeiro? I'm a cannoneer on the expedition led by Juan Ponce de Leon. Uh, 1513 AD, our ship, a caravan named the Santa Maria, was shipwrecked and thrown onto the rocks located one day north. Me and our cook, Pedro, of course it's called Pedro, 
left to scout the surroundings and if possible find an island more suitable to live on. Survivors of the wreck Santa Maria are continuously firing cannons as a signal but I'm afraid that the only remaining cannon will not last for very long. Our lifeboat crashed on underwater uh, rifts near this rock, probably reefs, uh, and we had to swim here. When we reached the cave, Pedro slipped on wet rock and broke his leg. Imagine that, man. You are so done. We have run out of supplies. We are starving. I will now leave Pedro in the cave down below and we'll go up. Maybe I can catch one of those birds circling around up there. So at least find their eggs. If Pedro and I do not make it and die here, please pray for us and take care of our bodies. Uh, so we might find Pedro up here. Take care of their bodies. Man, imagine having to write a note like that. Imagine falling and breaking your leg. It's not that far. Swim to the main island. And there's plenty of, like, wooden stuff. Even one of those ramps to come up. You could have at least floated across on one of them. And made a little uh, paddle or something. Oh, piece of native map there. Uh, oh, we need to start the mapping process up here. Hopefully I find some charcoal or something then. I'm not sure what we're going to find a drop here. Just sat there like, hello. Because we have been on that for 19 days. Ah. Oh, you stupid thing. I knew he was going to do that. I'll take an egg. Can't do that because there's more. Okay, keep going. Three eggs is better than one. Let's go. That's a trophy. That is an egg. Very good for you, these eggs. And another trophy. Right. I'm pulling an egg out of a dead bird. Like. Six eggs. Nice. Very good for you. Look at this, boys. Here we go. Story time. This is the cannoneer from the crashed Santa Maria. Left without a boat on this rock, he was dying of hunger. Up on top, he uh -oh. found a nest and tried to grab some eggs. But the, the harpy's got him. underestimated the danger of these birds. The harpies. And the harpies pecked him to death. Wow. Maybe somebody else survived on Santa Maria. I should go to the crash site. Okay, so uh, pecked to death by harpies. New goal, Santa Maria. Improved ship repair kit. That actually saves us from doing that. And look, he's proper turned into a skeleton. I guess it wouldn't take much... In this heat, it might even dry you out so much that you just get mummified, man. So, here we are, stuck on the island. Uh, what did we get out of that? Yeah, no. Wind chill status disappeared. Might skip the night with reading the book for 10 hours and at least it upgrades my um, medicine as well. Oh, I'll legit just stand here for 10 hours and read the bottle. Yep. Oh, oh we stance. Right, eggs, what do you do? 6% chance, but they do lots. Up, 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 up. Alright, I didn't get any diseases, and um, we stats are full. Let's go. <laughs> and I read a book. <laughs> so, I think... Yep. Yeah. Unlocked living water. Yours diseases. Alright, what else do we do? Sailing. Free sailing speed. Let's go. Saving repair toolkit chance. You can use it and get it back. Even water kills. Oh, let's go, man. Oh, we're smashing this. Right. We've got to go to the new region. Hell yeah. Alright, it's the Buffalo region. Oh, God. It's dark. Let's go see if our boat's still there, man. Alright, yo, back to Wadoosh. Uh, the boat. <laughs> so we're on the helm. Uh, we're off to the Buffalo region. Jesus. 
Christ, these waves. Oh my god. Alright, slow down. Do you legit have to wait for good sailing conditions? You have to turn into the waves, man. Right, what's this? Right. It put me in the Buffalo region because I managed to actually collect enough resources. How sick is that? To map it out. So one. See, look, I think that would be the Santa Maria then. All right, region map. Uh, okay, so we might come across a Santa Maria first. Hello, ship mast. Stay on level two. We save ourselves a lot of damage as well, man. All right, let's step off. We've got some sticks and stuff down here. Quite a lot, actually. Old barrels. Narrow leaves. Look at this thing, man. Santa Malia. Wow. This is massive. We are on a pirate ship. Oh my god, there's the crew. Dead crew and all sorts. You get three sticks out of that anchor. Alright. Alright, we're going for it. Sun's come up a bit. You know, we don't know where the captain's cabin is. And I wonder if we can get some nice stuff, man. Oh, wait. 4 out of 15. A half a log. Not exactly the loot I was expecting to find. Ah, uh, use the key to the captain's cabin. Required. Alright. Looking for the key. Oh, the barrel of an old cannon. Whoa, look at this. Boom, boom. <laughs> what do we do? Wait. Do we... Can we blast through the door? Maybe that's why there's sticks and rocks about. Nine blueprints. What did I just pick up? A tendon thread. Alright, sound increased. Iron rod can be used as a lever. Right, bowstring. Okay, maybe a better bow. A sleeping bag, boys. And dried hide. I think I have a dried hide. Just take that about there. Oh my good lord. Sun and rain protection. <sighs> Look at these shoesies, man. We can upgrade our sandals. Needle durability. Damn. Can we make this tendon thread now? Out of stuffs. All right. Well, now we know. Right, use the iron rod to unlock the old gate. Now we can actually go underneath here. I'm a bit worried actually. Let's get a spear out. Right, an improved torch. Right, an old cannon. Barrel required. Alright. There's hammocks and all sorts down here. I should make a primitive torch. Alright, so I'm going to grab the barrel of the old cannon. And take it down here. We're going to blow some up, man. What in the hell? Right, so it's dark as hell down here. Alright. Powder is required. Uh, there's another thing back here. Aha! Gunpowder. Aha! A cannonball. Right. I think we're good. Jeez. Right. Where's my torch? Oh, man. I just had enough energy to do that. We can see now. All right. This is what the underneath of the boat looks like, if you was wondering. About to run out of energy. So, place the powder. Place the cannonball. Use the torch. Uh, uh, this thing's on wheels. I'm going to stand to the side. Uh oh. Look at this, man. Oh, baby. 
Let's go, boys. Alright. I'll take some more of that stuff. What is that back there? It looks like a bottle. Alcohol. Put in inventory. Yeah, please. Never known you might need a drink. So if we move these, we can actually get into the rooms. Oh, skip bed. Um, I need a drink. What does this do? Oh, this is it. Crafting medicine ingredients. Uh, I do need a bit of a snooze, man. Water's going to be the next issue. All right, we've had a nice sleep in a proper bed. Uh, right, the key to the captain's thing. Awesome. And there we go, boys and girls. Right, the key. Hello. Look at these. Big old comfy beds. Oh, the boys. They are dead as hell. Marine binoculars. What in the hell? Okay, sick. Oh, is this the window I jumped out of? Yeah, I take it we haven't got the chest in here anymore. I wasn't on this ship, was I? I was on another one. But they are pretty much the same. Oh, man. Right, what we got, boys? The logbook of Santa Maria. Cuts in time. Captain uh -oh. Santa Maria and his mate are killed. It looks like the killer took them by surprise. But who? Who could have done such a thing? And, most importantly, why? Alright, we've got to solve murder table. now. There is the Santa Maria's logbook, stained with blood. Apparently, the killer looked into it. I must examine it at once. Ooh. The logbook of Santa Maria. There is some words here, boys and girls. So it shipwrecked on the rocks. First mate told me what the most of the supplies had been ruined by the seawater. Uh, in the end, the cannon could not withstand such frequent firing and broke, and it cannot be repaired until the cannoneer returns on the scouting mission. Uh, well, we found the cannoneer on the rock, didn't we? Um, our leader survived today. Captain Ponce de Leon arrived at our location. He found us by following our cannon signals right before the cannon broke down. And more good news, the same cannon kind of signals were heard today from the big island not far from here. That means that the San Cristobal survived the storm and anchored somewhere else. Alright, he's true to himself. His seemingly uh, unlimited energy has greatly inspired us, springing us into action after a short discussion. We've come to do a decision. The captain will take us, take all the survivors to the big island. We've seen another lifeboat on the horizon heading our way. This could be our scouts. Oh, jeez. Right, it's all looking up then, guys. But we are leaving that episode here because we have to actually find something called the Copper Island. So we will catch up with that next time. We've done a hell of a lot. And um, we're going to take this important stuff there. I'm not going to read that book for 10 hours because I need a drink. So we'll catch you next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe. Comment down below. Catch you next one. Peace. I think the girls with their nails done now.